Oh, well, we're back in the pink room. I have a pink zit, and it's time for a video. Oh, a new camera angle. What the heck? Hello everyone, my name is Alex. Welcome to another guide video. Today we're going to talk about Volley Bear because guess what? He got reworked. I mean, that's not news. That's not new news. He's been in the works for a while, but it's not. It, it, it's finally happened. It happened like a couple weeks ago. I've been playing him nonstop, basically. I've been playing with my friends. I've been playing a lot of ranked for various reasons, but I'm playing a lot with friends and he's like the only champion I want to play right now. So he's my new, he's my new favorite. I say, look, look, I say that about every rework and every new champion, ah, he's my favorite. But this one, this one, this one's the one. It's, it's the one, he's the one. I mean, I said that about Zoe and it was true. And I said that about his ear and it was true. And so Wally Bear, this time I feel it, I feel it. Soul. He's really fun and I hope to talk about today. Again, I'm also gonna say like the last video I, I put down in the down below here somewhere uh, The time where you can skip to to skip all the skills because I'm gonna talk about the skills at the first at the beginning of the video So you kind of get an idea of what he does if you've never heard of never seen his new abilities or never played him before So you get a little, uh, a little like refresher on that But if you already know his abilities and already know all things about them and you want to get to the mini gear stuff like gameplay matchups and items and runes You can hit the time down down there. So who is Volley Bear? What does he do? What kind of champion? Is he, he's a big ass bear. Bears? No, squirrels. He's a bear. He shoots lightning out of his feet. I mean, he runs on all fours, so I guess they're his hands, but they're also his feet. I don't know. Anyway, he shoots lightning and he's a bear, so that's really cool. Uh, he's a tank slash initiator slash fighter juggernaut. He's not really, he's not really a tank. He's kind of a tank. He's like the same way, he's like a tank in the same way that Renekton's a tank, basically. Um, he's just uh, chasing you down and stuff like that. He still has that flavor of just like this bear barreling at you. Bear, ha, gotcha. Barreling at you. I want to die. <laughs> Barely got you. Uh, just chasing you down and wanting to fuck you up as much as possible. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of what he is. And if you don't like this kind of champions, then he's not the champion for you. But if you like chasing people down as a big ass lightning bear, well, I have some news for you. So anyway, what are his abilities? What do they do? We'll first start with his passive. His passive is called the Relentless Storm. It's basically his old ultimate combined with his old W passive, and they just been the, slapped together in one big old cupcake um, that tastes like fried bear fur. Basically, every auto attack you make, you get a stack of passive up to five. Each stack gives you five percent attack speed bonus, and also once you get the five stacks, you get lightning hands. Yay! Every auto attack that you make shoots out lightning and chains against enemies and stuff like that. Basically gives you attack damage, like magic damage on hit, which is pretty cool. Your Q is called Thundering Smash. It's the old rolling thunder, but now it's called Thundering Smash because instead of you rolling people over you, you smash them. So when you activate it, you gain extra movement speed and you even gain more extra movement speed if you're going towards an enemy, kind of similar to set in a way. And then when you reach them, you have like a little bit extra attack range. You kind of do a little, little pounce on them and you smash on the ground on top of their heads and they get stunned for a second or whatever. The cool thing about the ability is that when, if you get immobilized while you're using it, if you have activated it, you get hit like, I don't know, by like a Morgana binding or whatever. The Q will be reset and you can use it again once you're out of or being immobilized. So it's kind of a cool thing about like, oh, you're this bear that's chasing people down and you're like, can't stop me. It's w. It's called Frenzied Maul, and there's two parts to it. The first part is you like a little claw attack with your little little bare hands, uh, and you do a little damage on hit. You have you can it applies on hit effects and things like that. So if your passive's up, you have a sheen proc or something like that, it'll proc it all that. The second part of the ability is it does a volley bear will uh, mark the target after the first one, and the second time you use the ability on the same opponent, uh, you bite them instead of hitting them with your your bare hands. You use your bare hands to mark them and use your bare face to, to eat them. And it does extra damage and heals you for a percentage of your missing health. So it's your healing ability, it's your big damage ability, and that's all it really does. It does nothing else. Your E is called Sky Splitter, and you like summon lightning from the sky. Um, pretty, I mean, it was really questionable about what Vol like, Volley Bear was his lightning bear, but the only thing lightning about him was the fact that he auto attacked and made lightning everywhere. So now he actually summons lightning, and this lightning is pretty cool. So when you use it, uh, a rune will appear on the ground and take a very long time, but it appears on the ground and after like a million years, the lightning strikes and enemies caught inside of it will be slowed by a bit 
And if you're inside of it, if you, Volley Bear, are inside of the Blast Zone, you get a shield, which is pretty useful if you're a bear that's just trying to chase down this one person. They're like, oh my god, that's a bear. I'm going to attack them. And you're like, no, I got, I got healthy bear shields. It's barely a shield. <laughs> Damn it. Your ultimate is called Storm. <laughs> Why do I laugh at this stuff? It's it's not even funny, but it is to be. And so that's what matters. <laughs> your ultimate is Stormbringer, and it's completely different than your old ability. Basically, it's kind of like a it's like you're taking Nas like Nasus and Renekton have a similar ult, and basically it's their ult, but without any of the benefits aside from giving you extra health and making you bigger and cooler and some other stuff. So you basically jump in the air, you land on the ground, and the blast zone deals some damage underneath you. And you gain extra health and attack range. That's it. And that, well, not really it. There's another part to it where you disable turrets now. You disable turrets in the area for like two seconds, deal some damage to them equal to the damage that you deal to enemy champions. Uh, well, like, it deals damage nonetheless. It deals the same amount of damage that you deal to champions if they be hit. So you're like one of the few other champions that have an ability that directly damages the tower. So like kind of like similar to Scion who can just ram his face into it. Uh, you're instead ramming your face into it, you're shooting it with lightning because that's your, your motif, I guess. And that's it. That's really all it is. It's, it's basically just you gain a bunch of extra health and you have attack range after that. So it's a worse Renekton ult, basically. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cool. I like it. I, th I like the like continual running and the biting and the, the the lightning all over the place. His ultimate's pretty cool, don't get me wrong. All right, so those were his abilities. Now, how do you play Volley Bear? What are some of the things that he that he does well? What doesn't he do well? However, his matchups with certain champions, we'll talk about that. If you skipped over to the from the abilities, hello. We're gonna talk about laning and matchups first. So matchups, we'll talk about in the top lane because I played him a little bit in top lane. I played him, I played him mostly in jungle. Played a little bit top lane, played a little bit in mid lane, played a little bit in bot lane, and I found that bot lane and mid lane are no goes. <laughs> Maybe support sometimes. Sometimes. Against, uh, who was I playing against? I think I was playing against a Leona. Um, I kicked her butt. Because <laughs> she was just immobilizing me like, all right, I'm still going to come over and smash your face with my bare hands. Um, but uh, mainly jungle and top lane, I'd say they stick to those two lanes. If you want to have some fun and fool around, yeah, go elsewhere and do AP Bolly Bear or whatever. But sticking, if you're going to play ranked with him and practice him, I'd stick to top lane and jungle. What does he play well against? What doesn't he play well against? So his good matchups tend to be other melee champions. You Obviously, any sort of ranged champion is going to have a huge like advantage over him. I'd say that he does have a little bit of advantage over others because even if you get like knocked away, like say like Vayne or something like that, you still get your Q back if you're using it so you can still chase down the vein because she's kind of sl she's slow anyway the the two that I've found that have been the most difficult for me in my experience with playing him has been Vlad and Renekton Vlad for obvious reasons he is just he out sustains you he out damages you he has survivability he has his he just does everything better uh, he clears faster than you and he's, he's just a pain in the butt <laughs> he is a pain in the butt I would just wait for ganks with him there's nothing really you can do you can try to chase him down with your Q but you don't get any resets from him CC because there's no CC so he just pulls away and he's safe and then he comes back and sucks your life away Renekton's the other one I've had trouble with it, he just out damages you entirely he's basically a better you in a sense because he has healing that's better than yours he has damage that's better than yours and he has an ultimate that's basically yours but better the few times I fought against Renekton they've had press the attack and that's been really freaking annoying because he just does so much damage to build a bork first and you're just sitting there going like why but yeah Vlad and Renekton have had the hardest time Teemo a little bit it's like a mix-up depending on how good the Teemo is if they're just like kiting you really well or something like that tend to be other I've had good time against set but that might have been because the set was bad and the Darius Darius actually I've had a lot of good times with because if he's gonna try to like pull you in to spin the axe on you you can just use your Q to get back into close range with him and you won't take like a bunch of damage and you shielding and healing he only has some healing going up for him and you have a, a, like your if you have a passive stacked up you'll deal a bunch of damage so uh, Darius is a pretty good one set you just have to like avoid uh, the only thing with set is you have to avoid that w and he's gonna just punch you nasus nasus you pu you push nasus nasus is a pushover he doesn't even exist with you he, he he can't do anything against you because you chase him down you he will just, he'll wither you but it won't matter because you'll just wait you'll like you'll just walk at him and you'll like slow him down with your e and he'll turn big i mean his ultimate is technically better than yours but he'll turn big and you'll turn big as like while well, we're just here now. 
So laning, what should you do and what should, what should you do while you're in lane? Uh, we're gonna talk about top lane. In lane, don't uh, don't try to push it, push your lane with your passive. You can do that accidentally. Like, try not to do that. <laughs> Because it just happens. Kind of like how Tristana, uh, like, accident, like, accidentally pushes the wave. You'll actually push the wave with your passive and stuff like that. Especially if you're in a, way, a lane that you aren't 100% sure that you want to fight or do anything like that. If you found that you've been trading badly and stuff you want to gank, don't push it with your passive. Just, like, last hit, wait a little bit. Last hit, wait a little bit. Because every ability and damage you do stacks your passive. So even your E stacks your passive and even your W stacks your passive. So just be aware of that. When you're trading and fighting with the champions, be sure to have your passive up while you're fighting them. Like, get some auto attacks and then some minions and then go in. Uh, or, I mean, if you can't, it's, obviously it's not going to happen every single time, but try to have your passive up when you're fighting uh, your lane opponent. It gives you the extra damage from your attack speed and your and the the, um, the passive on hit magic damage. If you're fighting them, be sure to land that E on you. <laughs> Doesn't super matter if you land it on them. It's a kind of like icing on the cake kind of deal, but if you land on yourself, that's really important because you want that shield to really help you um, be like soak up some of the damage you're taking. Jungling. Now, I've played him mostly in the jungle, some a little bit top lane, but I'm playing mostly in the jungle since he came out, and I found that he is an okay jungler. He's not like the best. But it's not the worst. He's kind of like, eh, he's gonna like, meh, meh. Your clear speed is pretty good because if you're passive, uh, you get a lot of procs on them, you deal, you know, a lot of damage to everything, and your E is AoE damage, so you get a lot of stuff. You sustain pretty decently with your W, but the problem is it takes so long because you have to wait for the cooldown to come up. As usual, start from whatever, whatever buff, red or blue, that your bot lane's going to be at so you can get some extra help in, in killing it quickly and not taking as much damage. I generally don't do raptor camps. I found that even with your shield, it is a bit bit tight with the health. If you if you really don't want to, if you don't have enough health to fight over the scuttle or whatever, maybe not go for raptors, maybe just go direct little wolves into blue buff, get your level three and go to scuttle, maybe. The main thing you're going to be doing as Volley Bear in the jungle, well, I mean, aside from the obvious ganking, is you're going to be tower diving. <laughs> now, it's pretty easy to tower dive with Volley Bear because your ultimate turns off the tower. So this is, there's this, and this is the thing I think I just want to like throw in here really briefly, a little bit of a tangent is that for some reason at lower elos, we don't like to tower dive very much. Bronze, silver, gold, don't like the tower diving as a no-go. Like it just because I'm pushed up does, I can't gank anymore. I guess I'm just gonna go away. But it's like, we could dive the towers. With Volley Bear, you don't have to worry about it. You just disable the tower and then you can go in. So maybe using Volley Bear is a good way to practice tower diving without any sort of danger ahead of you for the, from the tower is nice. So I would definitely focus on, um, if you have the chance to tower dive, I would use it because you can definitely use that to your advantage, turning off the tower and stuff like that. Or if it's at low health, you could just kill the tower straight up with your ultimate. So just be aware of that and try to use that to your advantage. What do we do with rune? For Volley Bear, there's two keystones that I run as my primary rune set, either um, Resolve or Precision. Uh, and for the resolve tree, I use aftershock because if I'm and I really only use this if I'm the main front line, really. Um, if I'm the only beefy boy on the team, I want to be more beefy, so I take aftershock. Um, and on, uh, as far as the other runes, I'll take demolish, bone plating, and overgrowth. Overgrowth is nice because it, I mean, more health, more good. You're not really going to benefit from rejuvenation because it's, it's only <sighs> rejuvenation kind of, kind of, it kind of blows. If I'm not. The only, if I'm not the only big beefy boy and I have other boys like Braum and Thresh or something like something with other CC and things like that, I'll go Conqueror. I'll go Precision, I'll go Conqueror because it's kind of the catch-all, everyone uses it, Rune. <laughs> it's, it's just good. It just gives you extra damage, it gives you extra healing as the icing on the cake. You're, you're going to benefit from it anyway because you're going to stack up pretty quickly with your attack speed and the abilities you're going to be using. So you will, you'll, you'll have a fun, fine time stacking it up. It won't get the 10 stacks pretty quickly. If I'm running Conquer, I'll probably go, I'll, I mostly go Triumph, Tenacity, Coup de Gras, uh, Tenacity because, well, even though I like being immobilized, so I reset, like if I'm immobilized, I don't really care because I get my Q reset. Well, I want to have 
I don't want to be bound by Morgana for all the whole three seconds of my life, just five million years sitting there waiting to leave. As far as secondary runes go, if I'm running either or, I'll run Tenacity Coup de Grant or Demolish and Overgrowth. I really like Demolish. I think Demolish is really great because you take down super quickly, uh, whether you're in jungle or top lane, and you you have your extra attack speed, you have your Q that can deal some extra damage to the tower, you have your ultimate deals extra damage to the tower. It's just like, it, you take towers pretty quickly, so Demolish is nice to have. Now, I want to add, last Lastly, in the rune section, a fun option for you because it's fun because I don't think it's always good, but it can be. I mean, I guess it depends on like the team and stuff, but I call it a fun option because it's not what I use all the time. Predator. If you're gonna, and the only reason I say it's fun is because everything else in that line, except maybe Relentless Hunter, is useless. <laughs> it doesn't do anything for you because you're not like a heavy damage champion that's looking to kill them really instantly. But Predator's nice, not just because of the extra damage it gives you, but the speed. The speed. You run fast, boy. You can add in things like Righteous Glory and Relentless Hunter, and you'll just be the speediest boy ever because, and you're not like, maybe not Hecarim level speed. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you're always fast. We'll do a race sometime. But you'll be kind of like Hecarim just running in just like whoa, 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 whoa. so what do we what do we uh what do we build for items if you're going jungle you'll be using the sunfire cape version of the jungle item the jungle item version of sunfire cape that one so you get the sunfire cape passive you also get the passive that does extra damage when you immobilize someone so it's a nice good first buy if you're a jungle or top lane spirit vision is also a great item because it gives you extra healing from your w gives you much needed cooldown reduction and extra health and magic resist so if you're against the highly magic damage focused team uh, enemy team ow spirit visage is great why now this might i don't think it's on the recommended page it might be but i really like our sworn colin i'll tell you why and i don't know if i mentioned this before because i can't remember what i said mana <laughs> you run out of mana so fast like so fast you run out of mana so fast and it's just it, it you you're just sitting there going like i'll like go and initiate and i'm just like oh i'm doing all sorts of stuff and it's like i can't use any abilities i have no mana it's like in the middle of the fight i run out of mana so it's nice to have extra mana from the iceborne gauntlet it gives you the sheen proc it gives you a nice slowing field for things like your w and your q the other items i like to build are righteous glory or dead man's plate or both like if you want to be really fast you go you'll go like predator ghost righteous glory dead man's plate you just like no one can outrun you so like the runes, I want to add some fun picks to this because uh, I'm all about having fun in the game and that's really just what it's about. So, I, and I've tried this a few times, Nasher's Tooth. Now hear me out, <laughs> Nasher's Tooth. I've tried playing uh, AP Volibear uh, and it kind of worked. I have to try it a bit more. Nasher's Tooth, I actually built Nasher's Tooth after I built like Sunfire Cave, Bit Spirit Visage and stuff like that. I actually think that it's a decent item to build uh, as like some, it gives you everything you need. It gives you attack speed, a lot of attack speed, it gives you AP, a lot of AP, and that AP actually translates mostly to your passive, which gives, it gives you like an extra, I think 54 magic damage on top of your already base level damage of your passive. So it's decent. It gives you extra, a lot of extra damage with attack speed and AP. It gives you 20% cooldown reduction, and it gives you another on hit component for your W to apply and for your auto attack. So it gives you more on hit, more damage. It's great. I love it. I think it's good, but only really build it as a fun pick. If you really think that's going to give you the extra step up, I definitely would recommend recommend building it. I, I've enjoyed it. I've built it a few times and I've I've had a blast. In conclusion, Volibear is great. He's super fun. He's this this initiation fighter tank that chases down like one person and makes their life a living hell because they're just being attacked and mauled by a big ass lightning bear. And I really enjoyed him. He's like, I think, I, I really think he's gonna be in my roster of champions to play for jungle at least because I do, I've been making jungle in my secondary aside from mid pick so he'll be one of my junglers i play a lot and i play him in general i love i think they did a really good job with him and they these reworks fiddle and volibear that they were spot on in my opinion i've really enjoyed playing them um and i've been playing fiddle a lot as well in the jungle him and volibear have been like my two main picks in jungle because i don't know there's just something about them the the look maybe the the the, the, the visual rework might be a big part of it because they look really cool their abilities there's some changes for fiddle volibear had some huge changes with his abilities that make him really cool. I think that, you know, if you want to try something new, give it a go. So yeah, that's it. That's all I had to say about Volibear. If you really enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you want to see more of this stuff from me, I make guide videos like this and gameplay videos. I'm working on a gameplay video right now, but they take a long time. Leave a comment down below. Have you played Volibear yet? Have you been playing him? Have you not been playing him? Do you think that this this rework in general was a good thing? Do you want to see more champions reworked? I know they're, they're going to do another um, like voting thing, so you can vote for the next champion to be reworked. And I think the reworks are going to be mostly visual, maybe some game 
gameplay tweaks and stuff like that. I know Shyvan is on that list, for the voting at least. But yeah, give me your thoughts and feedback. Also, hit the bell button for notifications. Make sure to hit the, like, click it and then click it again because you have to, like, or right click it. I don't remember to make sure that like, the little lines are filled in on the side of the bell. So you get, if you want to always be notified, that's what you want to do. If you don't want to be notified, you can just click it once and that'll be fine. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed and it wasn't unbearable. <laughs> uh, last one. I, I promise. I promise. It just, you know, it, you have to bear with it. D damn it. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.